Hello, my name is Neto Rosatelli and welcome to the Cataract Surgery Channel. This commented surgery is on a knife prone iris with very poor dilation, overcome with the help of the BHEX pupil expander. Eye wash and dispersive OVD over the cornea at the beginning of the case ensure good visualization. Despite adequate preparation and dilating eye drops use, the pupil remains small. This is a 65 year old patient with history of tensulus in use, so a floppy iris is to be expected. Routine incisions are made with care to ensure proper architecture in order to minimize iris prolapse. Intracameral lidocaine and epinephrine are injected, but pupil response is minimal. It is a floppy iris with a small pupil, and certainty of intraoperative floppy iris syndrome makes me decide to use a pupil expansion device, in this case the BHEX pupil expander. Dispersive OVD is used to fill the anterior chamber and also under the iris to facilitate the BHEX ring placement. The BHEX needs no injector, easily passing through the incision with the help of a micro forceps. The device is initially placed over the iris and then the flanges are engaged. The pupil is really small, around 3 mm in diameter, but being an elastic pupil, I decide to place the ring with no prior pupil stretching to see how it goes. This is the BHEX 23 gauge micro forceps, and after engaging the distal flange, I take advantage of the side ports to properly engage the other two flanges. Let's see how it goes with a so small pupil. Pupil stretching is recommended when a rigid pupil is less than 4.5 mm in diameter. Maybe a Sinsky hook or a similar instrument could be used to engage the flanges, but control with the micro forceps is on another level. You can see that the extreme flexibility of the BHEX allows for an easy and proper engagement without pupil damage. This engraved Inamura forceps gauges dilation at 5.5 mm and a proper sized capsule or axis is easily performed within the confines of the acquired pupil size. The device is completely unobtrusive and does not hinder routine maneuvers. A very challenging case has been tamed to a safer and easier procedure. Hydrodissection is performed and you can appreciate the iris floppiness now. The BHEX is challenged but bravely holds its ground. Anterior cortex matter is aspirated for visualization purposes. I then make a trench to gain space and to facilitate maneuvers as I intend to stay at the iris plane when emulsifying this relatively soft nucleus. It is a deep trench, the way I like it, and an easy and perfect crack all the way to the epinucleus is achieved greatly facilitating the rest of nucleus management. Now, wedge mechanical fracturing is performed and the nucleus is completely divided, its pieces waiting to be emulsified. Difficult or challenging cases must be done with utmost attention to proper technique practice to avoid complications and ensure the best possible result. No cutting corners here. 
That's the way to go. Fico tip at the center of the safe zone. Chopper helps bringing the pieces and performing protective maneuvers. The patient is moving and I have to recenter the microscope and I open up the conjunctiva a little to avoid fluid infiltration. Nucleus emulsification continues easily and safely thanks to the BHEX holding this unfavorable iris at bay. When finished, I carefully exit the eye and fill with OVD to achieve a little more dilation when entering with the IA probe. I provoke a small decimate detachment with I will be careful not to extend it more. I'm using an alcohol polymer IA tip here in a coaxial handpiece. The excellent exposure provided by the chopper by pushing the whole BHEX engaged pupil to the area I want, greatly facilitating complete cortex removal. Visualization is great and this potentially dangerous step is done easily. Please watch until the end of the video where I put cards linking to more BHEX videos so you can watch and learn more about this device. Piece of cake a good capsular bag and anterior chamber filling is done and IOL implantation follows in a completely routine manner, the BHEX allowing for easy positioning without any obstruction or entanglement. I now decide to do under the IOL OVD aspiration with the BHEX still in place to help visualization and avoid iris prolapse or aspiration with the cumbersome maneuvers. This is an important step. OVD evacuation must be complete to prevent post-op IOP spines. It would be a difficult step to do with a small pupil, the BHEX providing access and safety by holding the pupil away and stabilizing the iris. Now that the bag is completely devoid of OVD, I only need slight anterior chamber OVD fill to allow BHEX extraction. The flanges are easily disengaged without much manipulation and the ring is simply pulled out of the eye with the micro forceps. Look at this diminutive pupil. I enter with the IA probe and let reverse pupillary block to happen. It helps opening up the angle and the iris gets stretched, making for a much easier and safe OVD aspiration. This is an useful trick. 
the reverse pupillary block is broken by tapping the eye oil to allow any of the still remaining below the iris to come forward and be aspirated. The strategy of aspirating the bags over the prior to removing the ring proved its value. The small incision on the summit detachment ensued some stromal hydration. Incision sealing is done and a very challenging case is finished. The BHEX pupil expander was a real game changer in this case, allowing this IFIS prone iris to pass completely unscathed throughout the whole surgery. I wish you luck with your IFIS cases. Search Neto Rosatelli on YouTube or click on the link below and visit my other channel with cataract facial clips. Please like, share, subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.